I washed my hands, okay? I don't know what the soap is. Because we do, we have, <laughs> we have, uh, what's that stupid place that sells soap and candles and other places? We get soap from there. But we have this stupid soap bottle. By the way, oh my god, I just remembered something. I need help. I desperately need help. Let me upload this picture. Dude, just plead the fifth. I should have. I should have not said anything. Um, okay. Guys. Please, for the love of God, somebody help me. Uploading image. I have had... This goddamn metal bowl. We set it down in this little plastic bowl. And it is suction stuck. Hot water? Listen, and before you guys start giving suggestions, this has been a problem. This bowl has been sitting in my sink for a week. Every day. I do the dishes every morning. I wake up, do some dishes. All right? Every morning. I try my goddamn hardest to get this thing open. I've tried everything. I have tried filling the metal bowl with ice and then setting the plastic one in hot water. Doesn't work. I've tried putting soap all around the rim of these things and then to like like moving them to like make them slide and start unsuctioning. Doesn't work. I've tried prying it with like tools. Doesn't work. I've tried putting it on the edge of the like counter and going it doesn't work. How do I get this thing undone? Put it in the freezer, it shrinks. So you think I should put the whole thing in the freezer? Have you tried giving up? Dude, I'm on the verge. Well, see, I don't want to break. I don't want to break. I mean, I could drill a hole in that plastic bowl. I'm pointing at my screen like you guys can see. I don't want to break the plastic bowl. A stick of dynamite. Okay, I mean, that would work, but then I would destroy both bowls in the process. Soap and a fork. I've literally tried that exact combo. Submerge the whole thing in hot water. Leave it there for a whole day. Eventually, the water will leak between the crack and the pot and the plastic. And it'll be easier to pry apart. Uh, maybe I should just do the whole thing in hot water? Alright, well, what should I try right now? Somebody said put it in the freezer. Do you think that would work? Like the whole thing in the freezer? Because it contracts. But I'm just worried it's going to make the seal even tighter on the plastic bowl. Microwave? That's metal. That's going to explode. Cold will make it worse. Throw it out the window. Dude, some mornings I almost do. Olive oil around the edges of the blue bowl, and then turn the bowl, bowl clock, clockwise. I, uh, I've tried. Wait, specifically clockwise. Andrulio, thank you, dude. Glue one end to the ceiling, and then tape an anvil to the other end, maybe. Okay, not a bad idea. I could run it over like in Napoleon Dynamite. Compressed air. Where the fuck am I gonna get compressed air? Oh, I'm thinking of an air compressor. You mean like computer spraying air? No, I, I was thinking of like an air compressor. <laughs> Jesus. Ant Juan, thank you for the sub, dude. I just joined in. What's going on? Oh my god, dude. Just don't worry about it. I I've just got this stupid bowl stuck together and I can't get... It's been a week and I can't get them undone. So what should I do now? I think putting them in the freezer could be a good strategy. I'm gonna do that and then see what happens. Oil it up. But I'm not gonna get all oily. Like I said, guys, I've tried oil. Cry a little? <laughs> I, I, I've been there. I've done that. Freezer will cool air, making it harder to pull apart. Okay, so you want, so you think I should put it in hot water? All of it?
Yes. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go fill up the sink with hot water. <laughs> and then we'll test it in a bit and see if it works. Let me put some text on screen. What is this? Nope. Mangstein, thank you, dude. Why would you why would you put it there in the first place? That bowl is so small. It was an accident. It was like we we just set dishes there and set them around and then accidentally Blow the water. Okay, I'm gonna do this another time then, because how about this? I will do it tonight. I will try your guys' strategies. And then um I will update you tomorrow on how it goes. Alright, let's play this game. Uh Camille, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Would you like to customize your settings before you start? Just start. Yeah, thank you, medium-sized dog. I uh, I already handled that. I, I put the uh, streamer mode on. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. Whew. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access. What happened inside was never disclosed. Someone said bowl cam <laughs> earlier, by the way. here order uh, stay on the road deliver unload okay welcome to the best trip of your life hope you're buckled up if you're not you will be promptly ejected through that windshield when I crash into something cuz Lord knows I'm gonna Copyrighted? One minute, folks. I should probably double check and make sure this is not copyrighted music. The vibe is intensely going to change when I pause it, so. Sorry. Uh, streamer safe mode on. Okay, we're good. Anyway, like I was saying, get ready for the adventure of a lifetime. You think there's destructible sign physics? Best game on the planet. I'm Hamter. I made the gas station in the long drive. It's Hamter. There's Hamter again. Hamter, I'm gonna need to see some credentials. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I believe Hamter. Why would you lie about something like that? I feel like I should turn the radio down a little bit. Getting a little, we're getting a little stormy. It's way too loud. Wait, can you guys hear me? Okay, I'll turn the game down just a tad. There, that should be a little more manageable. It's not too loud? Listen, some people say that, but I guarantee I'm gonna go watch the VOD and you're not even gonna be able to hear a word I say. <laughs> I gotta watch, I gotta watch uh, that movie again, that Ryan Gosling, uh, what's it called, Drive? I feel like I could be him, probably, since I'm so cool. 
we've got a, a lot of natural, uh... Wait, you can get out of the car in this game, by the way. One minute. Put it on the brake. Maybe I shouldn't get out yet. It'll tell me when I can get out of it. Getting a little bit of interference with the goddamn radio signals. Hold up, this is getting a little odd. It's Glorp? You don't think Glorp is out here, do you? Should I? Okay. We're going off-road. We got a... What does that say? Well, it's too damn dark. Probably nothing important at all. Why is your steering, steering wheel on the wrong side? Dude, that's like... Australian guy who's never... Like... Doesn't know that the other world has different steering wheels. Okay, we're getting anomalies out the freaking ass up here. The other world? <laughs> you know what I mean? By the way, I can't see the widget. Give me a second. I can't see it on my end. Um, where's like video? Windowed mode, borderless window. Oh, for the love of crying out loud. Am I not gonna be able to see this shit on my end? What is Monka S? That is a emote. You gotta get a... Uh, I should have like a crash course for how to like install better Twitch TV and Franker Faces and 7TV and all that. It's a browser add-on that lets you see emotes. Yeah, see at the bottom left of the screen there? That's what people are posting. That's what they see. You see Monka S? They see it. Oh god, what now? What's going on? I put my car down, man. Oh, that's the brightest thing I've seen all day. Ooh, where am I? What the freak? I get some emotes, but not others. Yeah, we got our shit kind of like back and forth between better Twitch TV and Franker Faces and 7TV. We should like solidify them. Wait just a damn moment, guys. Something's not right around this place. Not at all. 7TV shows the others? Oh, maybe I should just swap to 7TV exclusively then. Oh, yep. Yep. This is not normal. Is this messing up the bitrate, this weird effect on screen? Hopefully not. No? Good. I never know what fucks with the bitrate. Some things do, some things do not. Dermex, thank you, dude. Alright, uh... So, uh, I get the car back, right? Because I was really expecting this to be like a, a mix of driving and walking. Wouldn't that suck? <laughs> There's no car on this game? Dang it. Uh oh Someone out there? Hello? Hey, can I have your car? I swore I... Hey, someone took, took my car. An anomaly That's took my car and I need yours. Up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Damn, so is this, this is gonna be ours then, I reckon. I wanted the steering wheel for the challenge. Man, my steering wheel's not hooked up at all. What the hell? Wait, I can kick the hell out of my car? Well, 
What is this, My Summer Car? Dude, I've been wanting to revisit My Summer Car, but that game is so daunting. <laughs> I'm gonna get on the roof real quick. Ow, a radiation! Well, uh, there, uh, there I go. Damn it. Just have the wiki pulled up at all times. I really should follow like sort of a build guide because I just sort of make it up as I go and then it always never starts. I've tried, I think, two times to make the car in that game. Put the wheel back on it, says, by the way. Guys, I saw that the whole time. It's just that um, I didn't, I was not ready to do that yet. Let me just put the wheel back on real quick. <laughs> okay, I didn't see it. Someone said that I have, like, UI blindness, or well, a lot of people have said this, and it's just so true. I don't see, like, UI elements. I don't look at them. And it's exclusively when I'm streaming, by the way. Like, I, my brain can only, at max, handle two things. And you, like, when I'm streaming, UI just gets cut out of the mix. It's like I can't handle it. Too much going on. Guys! Put the wheel back on is referencing the wheel here. I was looking for a steering wheel. This is- look, it's a tire! It says tire right there! Not a wheel. Jesus Louises. Okay, let's go. I'm hearing all sorts of scary stuff. I'm ready to put this behind me. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in milking content with how little you look at the UI. I'm picking up your distress. Shut up, man. I'm not milking content. It's just hard to focus on two things at once. Hey, Francis, come in. Let me listen to the lore. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Okay, lore's over. You can talk. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Is this my Hello? car talking to me? Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing. No, this busted hunk of junk. What if they're stranded? Could they mean... They're from outside? They're a breacher? Hey, hey, Fuel I'm can. The barrier wall. No one's gotten into the zone in Oh my god, my car is leaving me behind, dude. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and I bet it's, it's in the trunk. you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. What the hell is... Okay, give me that. Did the UI tell you that? I need to stop getting roasted. Let me pump this out. One minute. Alright. Fill up. Oh, my car is leaving me again. <laughs> hold still, hold still. I think I might need to adjust my... What now? Oh, can I not touch this? Go, go, damn you, go! Start it! Yo! Oh, this hurts! Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. Well, because well, I'm missing the lore. I gotta stop looking at you for a second. This preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? 
Holy Christ! No one's had work in wheels in here. Sure, that was cool. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then to get to the car to get to the car. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. When you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Okay, lore's over. You can talk. Oh, wait, I gotta put it in park this time. This shit will not leave me behind. Did my tire fall off? Whoa, perfect. Perfect timing. Dude, do you guys want to do Halo Custom Night? Halo Custom Games Night? Like, tomorrow? Halo 3, that is? Or maybe Halo Reach, too. That could be fun. Uh-oh. Sorry, I got plans tomorrow. Oh. Also, I thought it could be fun to play. You know that guy, that game, uh, Scribble, Scribble IO. I think that could be fun to do together. I want to get a bunch of little goofy stuff that we can do together. Dude, Hamter, stop spamming. I'm starting to think you're not a goddamn dev. I'm starting to have my doubts, Hamter. Agario? Is that the one where you're snakes? <laughs> it's one where you're a blob. I don't know shit about that. Let's see. Flip breaker. On. All right, welcome to the shop. Oh, God. Who's there? Go to the shop. God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Oh, oh my head. Uh, yeah, do your worst. Emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message... All right, I didn't know there was going to be so much talking in this game. I got to shut up for a minute. This tutorial is long? Oh no, how long? We can get them to safe. Now if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written. Ten out, shut up. Ten years and seventeen volumes and oh, Oh, okay, listen, they got a task for me. I'm gonna speed through this. Another breach, huh? If this is the tutorial. Pick up the mechanic eye headset hanging by the map. One of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. I just Pick up the The yapping only gets worse. Is this the type of game where I need to have the talking on guys? Like is is the fun of this game the fact that it's a story? Like with the the, di the dialogue or would I, I enjoy playing without that. We have to find your way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break it. Half of the fun is a story and half is a driving. Dang, I might not be able to play this then because I, I don't like streaming stuff where I just have to sit and listen to cutscenes. I like just talking and hanging out. What? Mm -hmm. You need help? Well, there's a headset. You want some of me? Put it on. The built-in diagnostic. The yap is worse than the Disco Elysium. 
Oh, Disco Elysium does have a lot of yapping. Which isn't a bad thing, because I love Disco Elysium. That game's awesome. Thank you, Mushroom. Yeah, I don't want anyone to think that my uh, criticism is like... Like, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I just don't like streaming that kind of stuff, because I like just talking nonstop on stream and roaming around. Pick up Mechanic's Eye. Headset by the hanging map. Okay. Mechanics I obtained. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Alright, can do. First aid station. Yeah, dude, I love Disco Elysium. That game is so good. Alright, objective put the wheel back on. Once again, I can do that. I've done it before. Didn't do a good job of it last time. Okay. Now let's get the car indoors. They leave you alone for a while once the tutorial's over. Alright. That just sucks though, because... Like, I, I don't even think that's bad for this game. Like, I, I almost feel like I should just play it off stream so I can enjoy it. Alright, that is not anywhere near the uh, correct location, I don't think. Replacement door and to your to-do list crude door. Crude door. Pin to checklist. Need a pry bar. Oh shit. Oh, God. Pete Peters, thank you, dude. Where is... Where, when did I just pick up? Oh, here we go. Pry bar. What is this crap? Duct tape? Hey, I'll take it. Let's get this crap open. Uh, uh, yeah. Equip. God, there's just so much shit on screen. Uh, E... Left click. Uh, okay. Give me all this. I don't know what it is. I'll take it though. Alright, craft my crude door. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist search. Okay. Weren't you UI blind? Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to actually pay attention to the UI. What in the hell is this? I'll take that. Got blah 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 blah. Whatever. Scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Oh shit. Yeah, I got the damn doohickey. Can you get can you dismantle the entire damn car? I'll probably have to get all the little stuff off first. Alright, is that all I can do? this thing scrapped to hell. Oh, 
All right, let us make a crude door. Now let us install this hunk of junk. Get the repair putty from the locker, okay? Told you it's long? Yeah. I'm powering through. I'm gonna power through. Dude, chat, I thought it would be fun to uh, revisit that Kenshi... Um, equip the repair putty. The Kenshi having 40, 50 cats. Um, but... Does anyone here know about Kenshi? Are there, like, some good mods that are gonna make it possible to, like, be easier? <laughs> Where's the repair buddy? Here we go. Oops, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh. Sir! No, sir! Will is sorry. Thank you, dude. Recruitable plus Genesis. Yeah, my problem, like, like I really do want to revisit that, uh, that, that Kenshi playthrough, but it's going to be really tedious. You should modify it to start with a human. Yeah, I want to do that, but even still, it's going to be tedious, I feel like, to manage 50 cats. Even with mods handling 50 creatures sounds impossible. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Might not be worth revisiting then. All right, let's see. Use a repair putty to repair the car. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Crude door. Okay, repair putty. Like this. Kenshi is such a good, this would be fun, but tedious game. Yeah. Guiltness, thank you, dude. Four. <laughs> I mean, I could always tweak, like, the values and stuff of, like, XP and all that. Yeah, wait, let's see what you said. Playing alone is fine, but streaming it feels way longer since you kind of need to focus on the game a lot and you don't do much besides following objectives in this tutorial. Yeah, does the game, like, okay, does it open up to be, like, open world and kind of roam around and just get into shit? Because if so, I will power through. But if it is sort of, like, just following objective markers the whole time, then I don't want to play. Kinda? Yes? Okay. I'll power through. All right, scan the flat tire. Uh, see? Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit. Or repair the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Uh, hey Shepard, I think Jackson one. here's got the hots for you. Hobu, thank you, dude. It's still a lot of talking. Dang. Like I said, I'm sure it's a great game. I just... It's hard for me to stream stuff like that. All right, let's see. Let me refer to what this says. Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit. Okay. Ceiling kit, craft. All right. Um, let's see. Let's just seal that up right quick. Okay, if you hold E, you can pick it up with your hands. Okay, perfect. Get back on there, you son of a gun. Scan the loose wheel.
get the mechanics kit from the toolbox. Oh, Jesus. Uh, equip the mechanics kit. Okay. Use the mechanics kit to fix the loose wheel. Is it this one? Fix the loose wheel. Okay, so I should have... I should have kept the wheel on. Uh, okay, use the mechanics kit to fix... Where's my mechanics kit? Surprising! Conniptions, thank you, dude. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Okay, I guess I already did it on accident. Okay, put the cardboard boxes in there. Install craft mat in the trunk. Okay, install oh, arc device. Uh, there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. One minute. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay. Throw that in the passenger seat. I'm I'm up I'm up in the FOV. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. Ooh. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more. Why do about I have a tire? If you live long Wait. enough to use it. Why do I have a tire still? Where did I get this extra tire? <laughs> okay, get rid of this. I don't think I need this. Let's trash this. X. Okay, we got a blueprint. Pick up the impact hammer. Blueprint by the garage door. Another blueprint. You mount a spare tire? Oh, I can mount this? Nope, oh, not there. Where should I mount this hush pup? Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Roger. Wait, did the stream go down? No, why are you guys supposed to not like this? What happened? Projector against the wall. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now, and that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Did he restart? I swear he played- we three we played through this last time? I didn't play this game before. Oh, it's Hit Guy! Don't listen to them! Um, okay, plot a route. What? Off you go! Make a left out of the garage, follow the access road. 
All right, I think we are. Uh, are we done with the tutorial now? Oh God, what is this? Not quiet. Man, I, Voices of the Void has spoiled me. I, I want more games that I can play that are just a little sandbox to screw around in. Forgot the wheel? Oh, it's fine. I don't need that wheel. I'll probably be alright. Alright, then let's see. What is it trying to tell me here? Travel. Wait, I don't get to drive there? No, it's probably loading the, like, road. Alright, let's see here. Gmob, but give yourself a quest. Yeah, dude, that, I, I'm like... Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Oh my god, one minute, they're telling me something. Of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Anyway, what were we saying? Uh... Find and scan a plasma generator. Collect materials and craft replacement parts. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, I want to play games. I think I have the most fun when it's like a sandbox to screw around in and give yourself your own objectives. I need to play more shit like that, dude. I always have so much fun doing stuff like that. And keep in mind, I, I want to make super sure everybody knows. Like, I don't mind games that have dialogue. Like, some of my favorite games... Like, I, I love story games. I'm just specifically talking about streaming. Like, when I'm streaming, I just want to, like, roam around and just goof around and talk to chat. I know I keep saying that, but I... I really don't want people to think that I'm just, like, trying to shit on this game for just being a what's perfectly, probably perfectly fine game, you know what I mean? If anyone says a single word of dialogue, I, Charborg exits the game. Oh. Recommended tool, scrapper. Okay, wait, I can scrap this. Bye bye, computer. Charborg Minecraft stream one? I've done some stuff in Minecraft. Maybe it'd be fun to do a Minecraft, like, big mod pack and that screw around it. Thank you, Rip Scored. Go through games on your wish list, but you switch every time there's dialogue. The computer was trying to talk to me? Wait, did I scrap? Did I scrap a computer that was right in the middle of talking to me? Whoops. My bad. IRL lost in the wood stream. Dude, that's... That's not a bad idea. I'm telling you, I could survive in the woods. Shepherd, I don't know what those black ops are up to. It doesn't involve getting us out of here alive. Scrants, thank you, We've dude. We've got no choice but to fight our way out. An IRL Bigfoot hunt? Oh, dude! A 
Okay, I'm having extreme danger. I don't think I'm allowed to go into this house at the moment. Maybe I can make like a radiation suit. You know what I mean? Gear? Oh no, that's a different kind of gear. Fly bar, scrapper, impact hammer, repair putty, battery jumper, mechanics kit, ceiling kit, blah blah blah. You hear that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go in here, I think. I'm gonna do it really quick so the radiation doesn't kill me. I think a little bit of radiation won't kill you. Fishing stream? Dude, I've been fishing in uh, Final Fantasy Online in the evening. Final Fantasy, uh, what's it called? XIV? That's been fun. I just boot it up, sit back, relax, do some fishing. Same but Red Dead? Oh, dude, that might be fun. Play Red Dead, but just just do the fishing. <laughs> I have that game on the PlayStation 5, I think. I've been meaning to play it. What in the hell are we dealing with here? What is this thing? Some sort of, uh, maybe he's friendly. Just gonna scoot on by him. Oh, he turned red. That does not seem good. Is that a blueprint? Hey, let go! Put in part, put it. Let me out of here. Buddy, what is the big idea? Oh, it's an anomaly. Scan it. He's got me! He's got me! <laughs> yeah, what? Well, am I made of metal? Fight it? With what, my road flare? Let me see if I can craft anything. Maybe I equip the pry bar? Melee the hell out of him? Donk, donk, donk. Oh, wait, I can kick him too with F. I think. Great, my car is all freaking fried, I think. Ow! Let's back this up a little. Burn. Turn the engine off. Oh, this thing's bouncing like crazy. It's bouncing and bounding. Hey, call triple eight. Hey, I parked my car on a Tesla coil. Um, you guys, we, we cover that, right? Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> All right, it says find and scan a plasma generator. I think that's our plasma generator right there. I'm gonna scan this thing. Plasma generator. Got it. One minute, let me heal. <laughs> Maybe I should back this up a little bit more. I think it's destroying my car! My car! Go back up, back up, back up, it won't start. Am I in park? There we go, back up. Get me out of this thing.
Hold it in reverse! <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna just, uh... I'm gonna just avoid this. I'm gonna keep going. My car is not looking too hot. What is this now? I think I'm headed the wrong way. It'll buff out, yeah. It's no, I mean, I'm a skilled mechanic. All right, let's avoid this dude. Oh, he's probably gonna see me, I think. Damn, Charbo getting no grandpa chat? What does that mean? No grandpa? I'm gonna stop here and see what I can find. Wait, is this- did I do a circle? No, surely not. What is that? I don't care. Man, just get me- I just need something to eat. I need a Dr. Pepper. Wait, this... Is it just a mannequin? It's an anomaly of some sort. Let me scan it. Tourist is what it's called. Yeah. Wow! God! Alright, note to, note to everybody, all viewers just watching. Do not hit the tourists. They will explode. Like... Cream of mushroom all over you. Oh, not pleasant. <laughs> A gunk grenade. <laughs> you know what? Don't you guys know what cream of mushroom is? If you don't, you've never been- you've never stepped foot inside of the canned food section of Walmart. The <laughs> food section of what? <laughs> oh, what now? What horrible thing have I just found? Another anomaly. This one's called a bollard. Isn't that what British people call their penis? <laughs> Maybe I'm misremembering. Can it boost me? <laughs> I like how you, you guys are correcting me, no that's... And then you're saying what they actually call it, but I'm seeing like three different things that they call it. They've got a lot of ways to talk about penises over there. Alright, I'm gonna craft some stuff. Let's see... Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, I'm gonna have to repair my whole car, huh? Guess we should gas up first. Oh, the tank's on the opposite side. Embarrassing. I mean, it's happened to the best of us, come on. Alright.
Fill her up. Surely it's not full, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Alright. Done with that then? Yeah, I've got streamer mode on. Thank you, Jazzboat. Alright, let's see. I need to. Oh, don't pull the door off that damn hinges. How do I. Let's see. I need to repair it. I need to make some of that goop. There's like some sort of goop. Repair goop is what they call it, I think. Can I craft from inside here? No, I need to pull it all out. <laughs> Wait. No, I think, do I have to go to a crafting table? I don't remember. Has he talked about playing Sons of the Forest again? Um, yeah, the only downside, or like the only complication really, is that uh, Wobo has gone to work for two weeks. He's gonna be away. More like, I guess, a week and a half. So he'll be back and then we will play more, I, I most likely believe. A repair putty, here we go. Here we go. Alright, let's get this shit fixed back up. Wobble went to prison. <laughs> yeah, guys, Wobble's gonna be in prison for a couple weeks. Um, but, I mean, it's a light sentence after that. He will be back and we can play the game again. Yeah, I really had fun with Sons of the Forest. I thought that game was awesome. Ew. Let's see. Uh, where did it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's it called that I just made? I need more goop. Repair putty. Oh, what am I missing? Chemicals? What's a guy like me gotta do to get some chemicals, huh? What is this? Scrapper? I'll, I will know I need that. First aid kit, a gear. Let's put the gear in here. Any plans to play Lethal Company again? I'm sure we'll revisit it as, like, you know, more content comes out. Or more fun mods. Yeah, there's like rarely ever a time when I'm never going to revisit something again. It usually just depends on, you know, when there's, when there's updates or, you know, when I feel like it. Let's see, should we be cutting this stuff up? Oh, hell yeah. Ever since watching you guys play Helldivers, I've been hooked on it. Yeah, I, I want to give it another shot. Like, maybe just play it off stream and just learn how to play. Because that... Oh, that scared me. That game was really fun. I just... I was, like, embarrassingly bad at it. Because we just jumped into the high difficulties. What have we got here? Is this some sort of jumping puzzle? Is this a rust jumping puzzle? Oh yeah. Check this out. So look, we hop here, hop here. Hop down to that. What the hell is going on to me? Oh, you think that's funny, huh? Oh wait, now we got another bell end popping up. Actually, this might not be a jumping puzzle. This might just be a weird piece of something. I still can't do the water treatment jump. Dude, it does not help that the rust, like, movement and jumping is very weird. It's hard to, like, tell in that game. I guess maybe it's a skill you can get good at. It just doesn't feel intuitive from the get-go. We've got a whole scene here. I do think these guys, uh... I, th 
think they dropped something good for me. Okay, I'm gonna go try to get a little hit on these guys and then run. Oh, I still got- oh, I still got got. But look at all the little rewards. Try the jumping puzzle on Guild Wars 2. Dude, I will say the Final Fantasy jumping puzzles. The uh, leaps of faith, those are so hard. <laughs> it's so difficult. Here, I'm gonna fill up. Where's my fuel tank? I'm gonna run and grab that. The ones in Guild Wars 2 will make you want to rip your hair out. Dude, I already want to rip my hair out every day of my life, pretty much, so that, I don't think I can handle that. I'm lying. I'm relatively at ease about things. <laughs> Wishes he was bald? Dude, I kind of can't wait until I'm, like, mega bald. Why wait? That is true. I saw, like, some musical artist that shaves his head bald, like, uh, on the top. But he's not bald. <laughs> he's not balding. He just, like, shaves it that way. Thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, you know what? I'm filling up here. Check this out. Uh... Fill. There, now we got gas in case something crazy- uh, did I knock it over? No, it's still in there. Perfect. Oh wait, yeah, there's like a specific spot for this, isn't there? Uh, equip. Yeah, throw that back in there. Are you actually worried about your hairline? I was in the past. Like, there was like a, a moment in time where I was like, oh shit, what if I'm gonna like go bald? And it was like worrying, and then I was just like, you know what? I don't really care. Like, I don't want to care about that. So I just stopped caring about it. So am I balding? I don't know. Am I worried about it? No. Hi, hi, Wolin. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the resub. And happy birthday. I appreciate it. Should tattoo something funny on your head if you go bald. Like what? Like a big crack? What? 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 Like my head's splitting open? Like an egg? Oh, like an egg? Mm. Like a butt crack. Why would I? Dude, it would be funny if you guys got to, like, help design a tattoo that I get. I would not get it on my- on my head. Or anywhere visible, most likely. But dude, I... I think that could be funny. You guys would probably fuck me up, though. The Dracula flow hair, get that tattooed on, on my head? Alright, I'm gonna move on. Wait, I, it says I need to make an impact hammer. I'll do that so that UI tip will go away. Impact hammer, what do I need? Gear, gas cylinder? Oh god, what the hell is a gas cylinder? I'll probably have to scrap some engine or something. Which, by the way, I need to make a new scrapper. <laughs> Excuse me.
Emil's bull. The rain sounds in this game make me sleepy. Yeah, dude, I love the rain. When it's raining, I'm just like, I'm at, at complete peace. What's the Glorp lore? Oh, you haven't heard? No, Glorp, I don't know. Chat just started posting that emote <laughs> the other day when we were playing Voices of the Void. I don't know what Glorp's deal is. Oh, why am I doing that? I wonder what these generators are. Like, do I have to ch Wait, I could probably scrap this, maybe. That looks like a gas cylinder, doesn't it? Yo, chill! Scan it? Oh, yeah, 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 true. Ouch. Chat turned Glorp into a no-context bit? I don't think it's malicious. I just think it's Glorp. Alright, I'm probably about to move on from this place. This gas station's been chilling all, but... What is it? Wait. Oh, damn it. You use the impact hammer to break it, not the scrapper. Oh, okay, let me see what I'm missing for this impact hammer then. I need one gear and one gas cylinder. I could probably find that stuff around here. Like, let me see if there's anything else that I'm not scrapping. Oh, wait, here's something. Look at this. Huh? And then duct tape. Maliciously glorp. Maliciously glorps. Alright, yeah, I guess we got him. Wait, here's a car up here. Would you recommend this game so far? I haven't got super far, but I do like the idea of it from what I've seen. But I'm also not getting like a proper representation of it because I turned the, the story stuff off the dialogue look see look at this hush pup right here this looks like I could get some crap like a gear or something out of it okay no I can't okay all that let me just tire scrap this see this is gonna have stuff like gears in it I bet you guys hear like something real ominous? Not sure what's going on over there. Probably something totally normal though. It does sound Kind of freaky. Oh, look, more scrap over here. Wait, what did I just pick up? Steel sheet? That's new. I haven't got one of those. Do I want to stay near your car? Is that what you said? My kombucha is in the way of your comment. What's gonna happen if I leave my car? You got me a little paranoid. Alright, what the hell was that? Oh, oh just that thing. Alright, let's move on. Let me store my stuff. Wait, I think I have enough for... The impact hammer! Wait, no I don't. <laughs> Grenade! Oh shit, get down! I did get a gear though. Wait, no, I've had that I think. Thank you, Wingus. 
Okay, look. Oh, I forgot to repair the rest of my car. Repair, buddy. You can craft the gear? Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I can. Yes. Okay, now I just need one of those fuel canisters, and I don't. I think I'll get those in a bit. Okay, we're looking good. This puppy's ready to roll. <laughs> All right, on the road again. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna get to another like area, a scrappable area, and then wait. No, I thought that was a dumpster. I don't really feel like looting these cars. I want to loot something cool. Wait a minute. I see a fence. Listen, I see somewhere I'm not supposed to go. I immediately want to go there. I can't help it. Next game. <laughs> I'll probably game hop in a bit. Maybe do a couple things tonight. I do want to give this a little bit more time though, because I'm sure... I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Park it. Undo it. Open it. Shoot it. Glass shards. Do I? Uh, I wonder if that's actually useful or if I'm. Oh, it's probably for like I can recycle it into a windshield or something. How about a game where we have random stuff on our wallet and you get to pick the weirdest one? I don't understand what that means. Are you. Are you just. Do you just have something weird on your wallet that you want to show off? We don't have to make a game about it. If you want to show off something weird you've got on your wallet, you can throw it in the stream chat and I'll, I'll take a look. <laughs> yeah, what's up with your wallet? What level of backseating? Um, I'll probably ask. I'll just ask if there's something I'm curious about. Unless there's just like a game mechanic that I'm not doing. I don't mind game mechanics. Being, uh... I just don't want spoilers, man. Right, broadcast transmitter. Oh, shit. I'll put that away. Dude, I really am... Oh, I can't go in here? I really am super excited to start getting back to doing some goofy stream stuff. The ideas have been flowing lately. I just have not had time to do them. Thank you. Sorry I'm Sophie. Thank you, dude. When's the next Fat Baby stream? Oh, shit. Well, as soon as Fat Baby gets some updates, I guess. I completely forgot about that stupid game. I said stupid, I didn't mean that, guys. Fat Baby is a classic. Oh, 
let me get a look at where I'm at. Lobotomizing a viewer on stream? Dude, wait, you just gave me a great idea. What if we had, like, I don't know, if someone, like, maybe is willingly wants to do it, we can just toggle on a feature for them where they can only speak in, like, five-letter, like, increments at a time, to where they can at most just type, like, one short word. And then they're t the, for the rest of time, they can just, they won't be able to chat. Yeah, I, I just go, I put them in caveman mode. You should be included too. Well, I mean, I already can't talk complete sentences. I say uh and um and repeat myself over and over. Yeah, I guess calling it, like, lobotomy mode might, I don't know, might need to be a little too scary for some people. I might have to call it caveman mode. Oh, is there something in here? What was that in the bushes? Nothing, I'm too jumpy. Whoa, whoa. Look, there's another one of those damn dudes. Be gone, you idiot. One minute. Yo, you idiot! I'm gonna try one more time to bonk him over and then run. Wait, actually, I'll kick him. Watch. Dot. I got a bad feeling about this mission. Who was that? Me, Harushu. Thank you. Thanks for the sub. Uh, much appreciated. Why does he always hit fuel barrels? I just like to see them explode. You gotta test these things, you know what I mean? The sub, wait, the sub sounds, they are from uh, Half-Life. But uh, I was talking at the start of stream, it would be fun to let you guys submit sub sounds and it could be anything like stuff from a game or like a weird noise that I've made or like I don't know some random shit I want to do that soon should turn on the radio oh yeah let's see what we got um let's see turn on the radio wait there's a house to my left wait there's a house immediately would turn awful. I think, like you guys say that, I, I see a lot of times when there's an idea about doing any community thing that it would turn awful immediately. I don't think you've got a lot of faith in people. I've been doing community stuff for a while and I, I can't even remember a time that there's been like an awful viewer. I think it'd be fine. And, I mean, it's it's gonna be, like, approved by mods, you know what I mean? Or even, like, me. I'll approve them, who knows. Yeah, if, if someone's- if someone's misbehaving... We just get- we ban them. Simple as. Can I take this backpack? Wait. Wait, did I just learn how to make that? 
or I don't know. Holy snot, that had a lot of crap in it. What is this? Canned food? Oh, yummy. I think I'll have some. Excuse me, some now. I think he's soft locked. Wait, did I? No, surely not. I almost started scrapping this, by the way. I did not recognize this as my car. I'm gonna save. Is there a save? I don't know. I don't know what this is, but it looks... not safe. Charwood, do you need a stati statistician? I'm open for hire. Scarecrow, um... I don't need a statistician, but that could be the funniest, like, thing ever, you know? Like, I just, I just hire somebody to do statistic stuff for me, but just, like, I don't need it. Like, what's the pro- like, just randomly, what's the probability that I, that I do this, and then you're, like, on call whenever. You have to be on call whenever. Oh, ouch. Let us do your taxes. No, I don't want to do that. What did I grab this for? What am, what's happening? Uh, Alright, well I got the cool, like, object. I'm gonna go put this in my trunk. Don't know what it does, but I'll figure out. Y'all hear something big? Uh, huh. Let me throw this in the trunk and we're gonna get out of here very quick. I, I can only hold it? Hmm. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna put it back. I'm scared. I'm hurting myself. I don't want it anymore. Take it. Take it back. I'm sorry I took it. <laughs> Don't worry, soldier. I'll have you fixed up in no time. Colton, thank you, dude. Thanks for the tier three. Thank you. Right, let me scan this thing. Stable anchor. I mean, I'm sure it's important for something, but I have yet to find that. missing here comes these things again there we go just throw it in the freaking passenger seat all right simple go back to RVs for cylinder I haven't seen any RVs have I I'm gonna refer to the map. Arby's. <laughs> All right. Let me see here. Let me see. Wait, there's some anomaly over here. A link gateway. Not even a clue what that is. Oh, guys, and the bubble meter on the left there is looking pretty good. Bubble levels are optimal. Perfect. Um, maybe I'll go... Maybe I'll go off-roading a bit. I 
At the start of every stream, assign random viewers different jobs, like how in kindergarten kids would get to be the leader in Caboose or the line on the way to lunch. What kind of jobs? What kind of jobs will we have? That's a good idea. Executioner? <laughs> Scarecrow says statistician? Statistician? Yeah, and I could give, I could give, like, text-to-speech to, uh, those users who have jobs. It could be cool to split everybody up into, uh, like, having jobs, and then you guys do stuff somehow. Noel, Noel Gris, thank you, dude. Charlie's about to be stuck in the woods for ten minutes because he skipped ahead in the tutorial. Oh well, I'm having fun. Let's get a look out here. Yep, I am lost. Yeah, God forbid a man want to go camping. We should just do RimWorld chat integration again at that point. Yeah, you know, I actually thought about doing RimWorld today, but uh, the process of making a mod pack and figuring out what to do is... It's a daunting task. Maybe we'll do RimWorld soon and just boot it up and we'll come up with, like, what we should do as we go. That would be fun. Orange squares are the extracts. Oh, I see, I see. Rimworld Twitch Battle Royale? I think I did something like that before. Uh, what, something I really wanted to, be, to do, I, I got inspired by Kraken's uh, 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 Skyrim permadeath. I want to do permadeath and stuff. Like, I think doing a Rimworld... Oh, Jesus. Charborg boyfriend, thank you for the sub. Good to see you. Looking handsome. Um, I want to do like maybe something in Rim World where it's like, I don't know, trying to make a colony under really harsh circumstances and it's permadeath. Let's see, okay, we can't go that way. Rim World on the sun, yeah. yeah now you're speaking my language. Ice sheet. Well, here's the thing. I don't want it to be... It, it's so hard when coming up with ideas like that because I don't want it to affect the gameplay in a way that makes it unfun. You know what I mean? Because it's, like, super easy to be like, oh, yeah, here's, like, some, like, challenge or whatever. But then you don't take into account that the gameplay then turns into, like, just really grindy, unfun stuff. You know what I mean? That's always, like, a struggle. Is coming up with a fun challenge that's fun to play, too. Wait, so are these the things that somebody mentioned di disassembling? Hmm. Did somebody mean to disassemble this whole thing? No. Ice sheet, but with the poop mod. There it is. The billion dollar idea. What's the poop mod? <laughs> it just it just adds poop. Whoa, boulder.
Okay, look, here, I don't think I've been up here. Let's give this a check. What's going on with my car? I was saying it's slippery. Yeah, boo-hoo. Did you not see the giant Bigfoot? You're trying to scare me and it's not gonna work. Okay, what have... What the hell is up going on here? Beginning. Oh wait, did I do a circle back to the start? Whoops. Silly me. Okay, look. Did I end up looting this stuff? I think I stopped by here for a moment, but then I left. Let me do one little quick look. Sodium vapor light. Recommended to a what? Transmuter. Okay, so maybe I transmute things? Can I be stored here? Okay, white duct tape. Whoa, what the hell is it doing? It just ate it. <laughs> I just put all my duct tape into this thing. Look down. Oh. So what did it do exactly? <laughs> I'm all battery. Fabric. All right, eight duct tape goes in. Let's see how many come out. Eight duct tape. Oh. Hmm. It turns duct tape into duct tape. Interesting. Okay, we need a hand vac to get these out. Check the cabinet. Thought I did. No, I. Wait, it was. He was so close. <laughs> am I missing something? What am I missing in here? Other cabinet. Oh, 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 pressurized cylinder. This is the good shit. Here, drop some of this crap. Let's store some of this in here. guys. Alright, now let me build this hammer. Impact hammer. This is not at all what I was expecting. Oh, please let it make me jump. 
Dang it. Alright, I needed an impact hammer for something. I think it was to get... Aha, the generators, I'm pretty sure. Impact hammer. Let's give this a little bit of an impact. Maybe this. Yes. All right. Got a bunch of garbage. Mine now. Tutorial progression. <laughs> so I'm not even in the game yet? I'm behind the tree. What? What did you see? I'm hearing something squeal. Oh, Jelly Ghost, thank you, dude. Hmm. Maybe nothing scary. Alright, smash plasma generators for materials. I need three more of these plasma things. What is that? Oh, I think I have a flat tire. Thought it was something running up on me, dude. These subject sounds keep scaring me. Yeah, I need to change them. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, see, this is starting to make sense. Don't zap me. Don't let you keep me. God. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Think about what you're doing. Duh! Ouch. All right, one more. That's what I say when I do electrical work on my house. Dude, I have a gripe, okay? I do not understand how the freaking voltmeter thing or whatever it's called the stud finders work i don't understand i have had two stud finders and i have watched videos extensively about each one of them and i have i have practiced with them to try and find the goddamn studs in my walls and i just don't understand i, I like I, I can't figure out how to make it work did you turn it on? Wait, you have to turn them on? Just playing. It's stupid, like... It says that there's... Just put it on your body... Wait, you put it on your body and it starts beeping. Well, yeah, I got that far. I just don't know what to do after that. It's just crazy, though, because I... I'll put it on my- I'll do everything right according to the directions, and it just says that there's power out- Like, it says that my wall is completely full of electrical devices. Doctor, doctor, thank you for the raid, dude. What's up, guys? I've, like, I don't know, dude. I've tried using this stud finder, and I've tried, like- I've been like, okay, confirmed. There is a stud here. There is a stud here, confirmed. And then I will drive a nail on the wall and it goes straight through into nothing. So I give up. I'm done trying to put nails in my wall. Studs are always 16 inches apart on exterior walls. 
16 to 24 on interior. Dude, and I've tried that. I've tried measuring to get to them. And, like, I I've, I've gotten a few, but I've tried knocking on the wall to hear if it's hollow. I just, I'm starting to think my walls, they just don't have studs in them. They just have full of electrical bullshit. Something's weird. Something weird is going on with my house. My wall, my, yeah, my house is just made entirely of live wires. Tear your walls down? Yeah, dude, they're gonna they're gonna come do like an inspection or something for like the apartment people. And I'm gonna they're gonna open the door and I'm there's gonna be drywall everywhere. I'm eating a handful of drywall. There's holes in the wall. There's not a single stud in sight. I'm like. Elect I'm like, none of my limbs work because I've been electrocuted 40 times driving nails into electrical cables. Why am I eating the drywall? I've, I'm at rock bottom at this point. I've lost my mind trying to get the damn stud finders to work. Right, I need to go to an anchor site. There's one right up here. Have you tried the knocking technique? I've tried that. And even then, I, I'm not great at finding them. All right, here on the left. It's up this hill. How the hell am I going to get up there? I don't know, dude. Basically, I'm done trying to put nails in the wall. I just give up. I've I've watched so many tutorials, and the dudes, that it's like, I'll watch a tutorial and I'm like, okay, that's how you do it. That's, that makes perfect sense. And then I go and try to replicate it, and it just, nothing works. Get a metal detector? I'd probably be, I'd probably be better off trying to metal detect a wooden stud on my wall. Than to use a stud finder. Go to a wall doctor? Maybe. Maybe that's what I'm missing out on. I need to get a professional wall doctor in my house. What's he trying to do? I'm trying to... Are you talking about in-game or are you talking about my complaints with the stud finder? I'm gonna break this thing. No point in me doing that, I just did it. Either the stud detector is boinked or the wall is boinked. You know, I, as much as I'm complaining and I would love to blame it on someone other than myself, I, it's my fault. I know it is. I know I'm just doing something wrong. We try to ask him plum she's good at finding a studs talking about me thanks dude that cheered me up a little bit still pretty fr I'm still frowning though it's all right though maybe I'll feel better later Kind of killing it with this game, huh? What did I just do with that? Oh, what's the big floating feller up there? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I have no goddamn clue what that thing is. He keeps ch sometimes they try to take my car, but uh, you know, other than that, they're pretty chill. Is there a flashlight, guys? Is 
scan it? I already scanned it once, I think. Abductor. Oh, that's just an abductor. Not that I'd be worried about. L or F? LF does nothing? F is kick. L is nothing. Okay, what do we got? I gotta get up to that. Wait, no, you know what? I'm just gonna get back on the road. We'll come across one of these things naturally. It's not very good at abducting? Yeah, this thing hasn't really been too much of a threat. Like, I'm honestly kind of feel bad for it. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh! Now, we gotta go to this thing up here. What is this called? Anchor site. We'll be approaching it momentarily. There's more of those freaks over there. You guys, whatever you do, don't kick those guys. They will blow up on you. Grabs you by the head. Yeah, dude, I don't understand. Am I made of metal? Am I a little robot man? How do abductors... Oh, wait, look. Here's the thing I think they're talking about. Alright. Give me, give me. There you go. Eat that, my car. My beautiful car. Don't know what that does, but... Enjoy it. Okay. Um. Select gateway coordinates on map. Is that these? What the hell is happening to me? What's happening to me? drive. Do I have to go there now? What the hell? Go my car, go my car. Oh, okay, so that's saying drive. I thought it was I thought it was a button I had to push. <laughs> the realm is collapsing, guys. You're saying a bunch of shit that's scaring me. Go off road and hold on. Hold on. Holy shit, hold on. Am I headed to that? That thing that looks very dangerous? The shop. Easy. I should bring the. T I should bring this tire with me. Just in case. All right, I gotta sip on my kombucha. So I built, I finished the tutorial. Can we shut this? It's raining like crazy. Um, okay, I need first aid.
Break open back room doors with an impact hammer. I don't want to go to the back rooms. Okay, I think I need to make this. I need to fabricate myself one of these. And then put it on the car? Or no, put it up here? Oh yeah, I got the streamer mode on. Thanks for watching out for me though, guys. Alright. Oh shit, this thing's gonna be big. Oh, this thing's gonna be real big. Yeah, I think I got an achievement for that. Man, I'm so good at this game. All right, what do I need for this? Okay, so basically the loop is going out, getting stuff, extracting. And, uh, getting back. That's cool. Like Tarkov? Dude, chat, I, I think I'm gonna relapse and play Tarkov. I, I talk about it semi-frequently. But I just can't stop thinking about that damn game. It's so fun. I want to let you guys join me and we all like screw around in Tarkov. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Look at all this. Dude, I love, by the way, that this game lets things override. One of my uh, big gripe with inventory management stuff is that exact thing. Like, if I want to set this here, it won't let you put it if it's like too, th you know, I don't know. Just call it. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Whoa. A better trunk? Wait, is that what this is? Transfer trunk. No, what is this? on the temperature resets between runs. Oh, cool. Okay, so this lets you transfer things between containers, you say? So I, like, put it in this and then... Okay, I'll set this down here. Oh, shit. vibe this is. Alright, recommended driver's checklist. Use a transfer trunk to unload collected materials. Okay, so yeah, I see, I see. So I don't want to bring this shit back in with me. T to move all at once? Oh, nice! Hell yes. Are you five foot eight? 
No. I'm five foot eight and a quarter. Okay, go t No, I'm 5'10 or 5'11. Depending on how straight I'm standing. How, how long can I do this for? Oh, she's empty. Yeah, depending on if I'm if I'm in my heels. Drop this. Oh, that was my scrapper. Do you stream naked? Do I sound like I stream naked? Guys have got a good read on me. I'm playing. I'm fully clothed. No, oh, I've never streamed naked. I've never been naked before. I don't even know what it's like. Let me pump up these tires. I was born with clothes on. Yeah, I came out wearing Louis Vuitton. Wait, is Louis Vuitton a clothing brand or is that a bag brand? <laughs> I came out wearing a, a bag. I came out in a bag. <laughs> they found me in a leather bag somewhere. Oh, you were a Gucci baby yourself? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Poor, but cute. Yeah, I'm a Louis V baby. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm, I'm just like not doing anything once I... I need to get my stupid tires pumped up, but I don't remember how to do it. Ceiling kit, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, what if the tire is hurting? Cotton 4K, what is? Ew. Okay, I guess I get, gotta get my gooper out. Hmm. Let's repair putty this shit. How much does a repair buddy repair? Look, I got cracked glass on this bad boy. That's not good. Did he say he was gonna switch? I'm ha I'm having fun with this now that it's like now that I'm understanding what I'm doing and I'm not being talked to. I still might switch in a bit and just kind of do a couple things, but this is fun. Bell more repair buddy. Screw it. <laughs> Ugh. 
Wait, no, maybe. I gotta save for something that's more torn up. See, look, I, I need to fix these things. What do I got here? Crude panel? Give me that. Throw this on there. I forgot you turned the voice volume completely down. <laughs> yeah. Man, this game is quiet. Okay, so look, I could swap- wait, I think these are front doors only. Is this front door only or will this fit the back door if I try to- you might have to bang Hmm. Red eyes. All door? Oops. Let me see which door's more broken. They're all looking a little broken. It even fits the trunk? Wait, what? Oh shit! There we go. There we go! Man, this thing's coming together. Alright, crude headlight. Oh yeah, we need one of them. Oh god, that looks so ugly. just need a bumper now. Let's see if I can craft one of these. Do a bumper. Okay, what else do they want from me? Panels, doors, and bumpers installed. Okay, I'm missing another panel. I'll make that right quick. Battery jumper, road flares. Do I have a battery jumper? I know I've got flares. Okay, I'm gonna bring... So wait, guys, if I die... Do I lose everything in my car? I need to move like, yes? Okay, then I need to move like some of these. Uh. No! Put it, put it back, put it back. Oh god, I've used one. Alright, well I'll bring all of them, screw it. Dude, this car is coming together. It's getting repaired. Some, pl some pieces look like a hunk of junk, but... about the repair goop noise. It's gonna be a little gross, guys. You're gonna have to stick it out. Alright, now we just have to... Wait, I have to tend my wounds and then fill the tank. Yeah, we are good. Where's the wound tender? Maybe over here. Root planner. Wound tender. Oh, wait, we got something going on with our back right tire. What is... This tire's not been fixed. Good. 
all the way. No! Oh! It's probably fine. Ignores all the orange arrows. Wait, where do you see orange arrows? Dude, I just, my brain tunes UI stuff out because it's just so, it's annoying. Where do you see orange arrows? I don't even see an orange arrow. Argus bag. Numatum. Fabrication station. Keep thinking Oblivion music's about to play. Yeah, I've been loving... Slip's been adding uh, Oblivion music to the videos lately. And it's a vibe. Oh, oh thank God it didn't hurt me. Yeah, let me bust this down. Where's my hammer? My buster. Wait, what happens if you overlap? Okay, you can't leave the menu. Oh wait, here's that first aid station. I forgot about this. I used it earlier. Okay, let's see. They want me to fill tank, pack survival tools. What am I missing as far as survival tools? I think I got some good stuff. I'm looking prepared. One minute, I'm gonna rest my eyes for a sec. I think the tire is flat. Wait, is it going down again? What is this yellow arrow in the trunk? Oh, that means the glass is probably screwed up, or... I know my glass is screwed up here. I wonder if I can build better glass. Oh, that means it's open. Ow! What? Wait, I don't want to have to redo things. Wait, I just remembered. I was like, it's going to be so funny when I die to this. It's going to be so hilarious. But I don't know when it's going to reload me to. Wasted potential content? No, people are just gonna get pissed off if I <laughs> if I have to redo a bunch of stuff. Pack survival tools. Okay, so wait, what am I missing for survival tools? Pry bar? Wait, oh here we go. Up this bad boy. Okay, I'm just missing the survival tools. First aid scrapper, pry bar, impact hammer. I think I have it all. Why is it still telling me? What survival tools am I missing, guys? This little dude can dance. Mechanics kit? Do I need this, maybe? Oh, 
I already had one of those. Repair putty? Yeah, I'll make some of that. Oh, that's it. That's what it was. Cool. Man, what a beast of a car. One minute, I'm gonna go pee. I'll BRB. Let these sweet tunes carry you. Hello. Thank you, Con Brecken. Thanks for the reset, dude. Wait, what the hell? There's a Glorp Sing emote? Wait, what is this? Glorp singing at you. Dude, he is killing it. Look at him. <laughs> I can't see the email. You can look at the bottom left of the uh, video. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, Plum's gonna love that. I gotta show her that later. Dude, Glorp is such a cutie. He's perfect. Love that dude. Oh wait, I can push T. It looks like he's really singing it, that's crazy. What happened? I left for like two hours. Uh, just figuring out how the game works, basically. Um, and I did my first successful trip. I'm just gonna chill and chat for a second. I gotta like rest my eyes from the game. 
Oh, oh my god. I died. <laughs> yep. I gotta I gotta change those sub sounds. That scared me. Thank you, Shelby Cat. to take a break every hour or so when driving? That is true. Or maybe it is. I said that was true, but I was basing it off of nothing. So, who knows? Ew. What? There's a turd in there, dude! This ain't good. Guys, this ain't good. Why are you looking in the toilets? See if there was a turd in there? <laughs> and there was. Spoiler. It was so gross. Oh, I should scrap this. Not me, thank you for that sub. Much appreciated. Okay, we're looking good. Scrapped. Let me go store this crap. What a beautiful day. All right, I I'm gonna rest my eyes for a bit. I'm just gonna sit here and talk. <sighs> Dude, I don't know why I get fatigued so bad. And you know what, I do know why. I do know why. Looking back and forth, I talked about this a bit, so sorry to sound like a broken record, but looking back and forth between chat and my monitor, that it's like it's very like mentally straining i need to figure out how to like get better at doing that that's why i always end up having to end stream after like three hours and look at that look we're at 255 dude look what i'm saying do you need glasses no i've got i've got glasses i'm wearing them right now acting like it's the hardest job in the world while we have the u.s military dude i saw somebody an offline chat say like uh just randomly i booted up off or booted up chat for something i think i was messing with my chat arena settings but i saw someone in the uh offline chat being like man i wish i could play video games for 12 to 15 hours a day but sadly i can't anyway enjoy the grift i guess and like i i, I was just really confused like why <laughs> Why do they feel the need to say that, first of all? Second of all, I wish all this job was was playing video games for 12 to 15 hours a day. Anyway, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think my job is harder than being in the military, guys. I think I've got probably one of the hardest jobs on the planet. Didn't somebody have a take like that recently? I remember seeing somebody... <laughs> I remember seeing somebody say something like that. I didn't look into it. I think it was Hassan. He, he was saying it was... <laughs> I don't know what his take was. It was out of context. Oh, that's how it always goes.
Dude, I don't see how people surround themselves with drama nonstop. That would be so tiring. Like, dude, just... Just goof around. You know what, what it's like being out of context? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. You should try it for like a month. Try, like, surrounding myself in drama. That could be the play. Make some insane plays, some insane drama plays. Now that dude in offline chat, I don't know what had him so upset. It felt very charged. But yeah, back to what I was saying about, like, figuring out how to not get so fatigued, like eye fatigue, from looking back and forth between monitors. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Because, dude, that's, that's all it is that, like, tires me out after, like, three hours, is it's just looking back and forth, like, it gives me complete brain rot. Long monitor? Yeah, I've got you guys on a vertical monitor right now. And it's, uh... You're, it's like chat is the entire monitor. And that has helped a bit. Show setup? Oh, my desk is messy right now. Recommended to stare at something far away from the screen for 10 to 30 seconds. Yeah, dude, I did have a timer. Every hour I would take like a little break to rest my eyes. Wear a horse blinder? Dude, Plum, what's up? Oh! oh. <laughs> Bombsies, thank you. Thanks for the raid, Plum. What up, everybody? Plum shot him. Plum sh show Plum the glorp thing? Oh my god, Plum, are you here right now? I hope she's here. Okay, look at the new Glorp emote, Plum. Glorp can sing. Did you even know that? Have you had any idea? Had no clue? Yeah, dude. Multi-talented little bastard. I bet Glorp would sing so beautifully. If only we could hear it and it wasn't just silent. Do you have a blue light filter on your monitors? For the eye comfort mode? No, I don't. One sec, I'll put some text up on screen so people know what's up. Just chatting and resting my eyes. Might play more, but I'm not sure yet. Um, what was that? I was just about to... I'm supposed to do something, but I don't remember what. What's the lighting like in your office? If it's too dark and your screens are too bright, it might be straining your eyes. Yeah, I need to get another lighting here. Because I did read that. I read that, uh... Like, having no lights on and monitors on 
is bad for your eyes or it like amplifies that so I've been having my light on but maybe I need more lights in here because it is kind of dim your eyes also get sleepy if you're stupid Plum why did you say that shit to me What did you do? <laughs> oh wait, P person, are you talking about why you're getting timed out? I have a auto thing that times out long messages. Because otherwise people be posting paragraphs. Sorry, dude. No eyes equal no eye strain. That is true. I could gouge my own eyeballs out, which would alleviate a lot of my problems, I think. Why is the... Oh, never mind. Talking about how you'd die if you became a peanut. Oh, we're on this... We're on this argument? Let me see. Yeah, I saw those messages get deleted, and I they got deleted so quick I couldn't... I could not tell. Let me see what your argument is here. Who writes an essay in Twitch chat? I get it. I just, uh... I want to encourage it too much. What's up? Yeah, oh, Pookie came to visit, guys. Also, why is it you're not playing your game? You're sleeping? I'm just resting my eyes for a minute. Well. Just resting my little eyes. Okay, wait, let's see what they said. Basically, the reason you would die if you shrunk down to the size of a peanut is that due to the square cube law, you would have way more skin area per amount of meat mass. Since the meat is what makes you heat, but the skin is what where you lose heat. You would freeze very quickly unless you were in a room that was already at a survivable internal body temperature. What about bugs, though? Yeah, what about bugs? Guys, what about bugs or tiny people, like really tiny dudes? I'm sure there are tiny dudes that are pretty that small. I think they're trying to say about like meat on a person and skin on a person. What if they're like <laughs> kind of not like them? Yeah, I mean. Oh, we're getting back on this topic. <laughs> your cats would eat you. No, my cats are chill. I don't know about your cats. My cats wouldn't eat me. They might play with me and fuck me up, but <laughs> they would not eat me. <laughs> Dude, maybe Minnie Gilbert would. I could see Minnie Gilbert eating me. Yeah, she would grab me. Minnie Gilbert's our newest little cat, and she's a fucking maniac. Dude, you know what? Here, this is also what I'm talking about with my eyes and it being fatiguing. Looking over at chat and trying to read messages when they move. Like, if I look and a message moves, and I look up, and it moves, and I look up, and, I, and it moves, and I look up... That, like, tires my eyes out. I need, like, I need chat to, like, freeze every, like, three seconds. Just, like, a solid freeze. Is he dying? <laughs> Time to code? Yeah, dude, I was talking about, I, I want to make a custom chat client that does exactly what I want it to do. This is why I have the don't, well, see, it's gone. I didn't read that, what that said. <laughs> This is <laughs> this is why I have the don't move when I scroll up feature. Yeah, see, I want something like that. There's a feature in Chatterino where you can push a hotkey and it pauses chat. And it's like, whoa, that would be perfect if every time I look over at chat, I just hold the hotkey. But it only works when you're tabbed in to Chatterino. So if I'm playing a game, then it, it I can't like push the hotkey. God, it would just be awesome. Time to make your own client? Yeah, I think I have to, dude. It probably wouldn't be too hard. Bind it to the Steam Deck? 
No, that that the Steam Deck can only do hotkeys too. I dude, I got to the point even where I tried to do something with like auto hotkey to where when I press a hotkey it would target a window and then press a hotkey, but that didn't work either. Eye tracker to freeze chat. I mean, I could look into that solution, but I think there's going to be a whole mess of problems with that, too. Well, I was telling the people earlier that I just feel like they're always, like, kind of focusing in. I was like, well, I probably need a different eye prescription. Hogsucker was saying that they had to do, like, vision therapy to do all this stuff and fix their peripheral vision. And I was what like, oh, shit, maybe that's what's wrong with me. Maybe my eyes are, like, not focusing. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm just not looking correctly. Do your eyes only hurt when you're on a computer? No, they don't hurt. It's like, it's like the looking from back and forth between my monitors and refocusing and trying to read chat messages that are moving. And uh, it like fatigues my eyes to where then I just get like really tired and brain foggy like three hours into a stream. That's like 90% of the time that I'm ending stream is because I'm just tired. If you get an eye tracker, though, think of the content. Yeah, I... I honestly, I think eye tracker could be super fun, but I don't know if there's a way to hook it up to, like, pause a program when you look at it. Have you tried blue light glasses? No, I haven't. You need eye tracking so you can do a VTuber. Do a VTuber? Make a VTuber? Make a little cute VTuber. Plum's got a cute little VTuber avatar. Dude, I should just put ch I should put chat in emote only mode for one stream and just see after three hours how much better by like brain feels. Either that, emote only, either that, or like do the caveman mode I was talking about where you guys can only uh speak in like one word sentences. I really think that would <laughs> like completely solve this issue. Maybe not, but it, it might help. Either that or it could be cool. <laughs> Cave mo caveman? Caveman would actually rock. Yeah, I think that'd be super funny. <laughs> Set the length of long messages to two plus. Here, look, I can do that right now and just see what it would look like. <laughs> um, let's see. Stream elements. Dot com. I wonder if that would work for, uh... I wonder if you'd be able to type long emotes, though, you know what I mean? Like, if I set it to only seven letters or something, would it still let you type, like, emotes that are over that? Let's test it. Because I want you guys to be able to put em like any emote that you want to put. Let me see here. Streaming tools. Oh, wait, no, maybe chatbot. Spam filter. Paragraph protection. Removes lengthy messages. Um, timeout duration. We'll set it to one second. Maximum amount. Let's set it to eight. Or no, let's do five right now just to test like some emotes. How do I save this? Something went wrong when I try to save this. No, it's not in caveman mode yet. Something's going wrong here. I, I think it won't let you do as low as five. Oh my god! Tain soup, thank you, dude.
Why would they arbitrarily set a limit like this if if that's really the problem? Ah, the, the minimum is 100? Surely not. 90? Okay, what about 80? 85? 88? 89? The limit is 90. The lowest that they'll let you go is 90 for some reason. It's paragraph protection, not chat protection. Right, but the tool... I, I'm always in favor of having tools that have broad uses, you know what I mean? Like, this should be, instead of paragraph protection, it should be like... Length protection or whatever, I don't know. A multi-use tool, because yeah, then that would open it up for goofy stuff like this. But instead, we can't test it. Yeah, character limit, exactly. It should be called character limit, not paragraph protection with randomly, arbitrarily decided that 90 is lo the lowest. Anyway, like I, like I was saying at the start of stream, I'm, uh, I'm just about to be to the point where I'm, like, working on fun stream projects again. So this type of stuff will be able to happen. Every stream is fun. I have fun. I just mean, I mean like goofy stuff that's not just playing a game and chit-chatting. Ch anyway, you guys wanna do Halo tomorrow? Halo custom games, I can try to set that up and see if we can do some goofy shit. Infinite? Um, no. I'm talking about, uh, Halo, uh, Master Chief Collection. Halo 3 and Halo Reach is what I'll probably do. And don't, don't buy the game if you don't have it, because I would hate for somebody to buy it expecting to get in and there just not be room. You know what I mean? Like, we'll do multiple lobbies and we'll swap people out, but, uh, Definitely don't try to spend your money on the game if, if you know, if you're just buying it for this one thing. Zombie was so fun in Halo 3. Yeah, dude, I have so many fun memories of playing Halo 3 zombies. Jackbox or Gartic phone would be fun. Yeah, we should do something like that. Maybe maybe tomorrow we'll do that too, like Halo for a bit and then switch to something else. I do have some of the Jackbox stuff. What about a Zomboid server? That's one of the things that I'm talking about doing whenever I'm back to working on stream projects. Because that would be a that would be a thing that would take multiple days and uh, a lot of work to set up. And lately, like the past like month or two, it's I've just been exclusively doing stuff that is boot up a game and play it in chit chat. But yeah, my workload is getting manageable, which means. I'm going to be able to start doing goofy stuff. Yeah, I I'm excited for the Zomboid stuff. It's going to be super fun. Assuming the Zomboid server will be sub only, I'm not decided on that. Because I always prefer to have it where anyone can join. Like, I don't want to lock things behind being subbed. But at the same time, it does make it a lot easier to moderate. So maybe like, maybe we lock it behind like follow time or something. I'm not sure. I'll think on it. Hell yeah, chicken. I think we're doing that tomorrow. I think I'm going to try to set that up tomorrow.
I think that could be fun. <clears throat> Yeah, because I've I've done uh, like in the past I've done Rust server and stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure we just had that open to everybody, and people were kind of crazy, like crazy to the point where I just was like, okay, this is not fun. Open TTD, dude. I've seen stuff about that. I don't know what that is, though. Rust is made for that, though. Right, but I don't want to have, like, there's a big difference between having a Rust server where it's, you know, people running around killing each other, and a Rust server where it's just people following me around, banging outside my house and yelling and just. Like a giant group of people <laughs> stream sniping. You know what I mean? That's a different thing. And that's not fun. Like when we do Roblox sometimes and there's just people following you around, just crowding you and trying to show off their stupid skin. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Yeah, stream sniping is not fun. I think that's one of the reasons why the special Space Station 13 servers never came back. It's a lot of behind-the-scenes effort. Yeah, dude, I, and see, chat, I really want to do stuff like that. Like, I mean, people, I, I know you guys liked that type of thing with, like, the uh, Space Station 13, and I want to do more of that. Like, I want to have s Zomboid servers that we populate with everybody from here, and I want to have, I just want to do a bunch of community stuff, but it's so hard to moderate that kind of thing. Like, because I don't, like, I would love to be able to stream doing stuff like that, but people stream snipe, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to enforce that. Because if, if we could somehow, like, all just agree that the only way it's possible is if people all do their own thing, then we could do some crazy fun stuff. But... You know. Sadly, I don't think you can. I do. I'm hopeful. Like, it's just a daunting thing to tackle. You know what I mean? And I think the first little... The first little, like, step into this direction is doing this community Zomboid server. And I think... I think what... What's made it hard in the past is I just haven't had time to do moderation stuff for that sort of thing. But if this is like the thing where it's like, okay, this week is Community Zomboid Server, then my entire week can be dedicated to just moderating and streaming it and all that. You know what I mean? Biggest problem you'll face is doing it by yourself. Get someone to help you. Yeah, I'd love to, like, pay my mods to help out with that if if any of them are interested, or pay someone, maybe someone in the community who knows about Zomboid stuff, or... I don't know. I haven't ironed out the details, but we will see. Scarecrow, are your eyes feeling better? You're the statistician. Why don't you, uh... Why don't you uh, get the stats on it? Yeah, if there's like a, I don't know, any, I don't know, I'll think on it. Is it going to be modded or no? Yeah, I, I would definitely want to do modded, which is a whole new set of problems because Zomboid has a stupid way of dealing with mod updates. It completely makes the server unplayable if, an, if a mod updates and you have to reset the server. <laughs> Unless it's been fixed and it doesn't do that anymore. Yeah, you can do exclamation discord bushy. I really would like the numbers on it. Um, as far as my eyes, I'm feeling good 
right now just because I'm looking at one monitor talking to chat. But I'm not sure if I want to go back in game yet. I feel like it's unlikely that I'd be updated. Dang. Yeah, because that is annoying. I am just having fun chatting f for right now. What if it's more you're the main character and we're all your minions? That way stream sniping isn't a worry. I don't know. I, I would rather just not encourage stream sniping in general. Like set the precedent from the very start that that's not fun. Because I've, I've done like RuneScape stuff with community that sort of had that vibe where it was like giving out orders and everyone trying to complete stuff but even then people just you know they kind of just want to crowd around yeah and I'm talking as if it's like that that's what's that's what's kind of like <laughs> weird is I'm talking as if it's like everybody cuz it's not the majority of people the majority of people like behave and are totally great at like doing community stuff but I don't see those people you know what I mean I bump into those people naturally which is awesome but then the people who crowd around and just be annoying um, I see those, so then that's like, that's all I see, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but yeah, I think, uh, I think as we start doing that, you know, people will get it. And if they don't get it, then we ban them, you know? <clears throat> ban them from the uh, server or whatever we're doing like I said I'm hopeful for this kind of stuff I think having community servers that cause lawman does that lawman does a lot of community stuff and uh I would assume people are well behaved We have everyone put down collateral like a pawn shop or a loan store and when they join the server if they misbehave they don't get it back yeah everybody types their twitch password <laughs> to join the server you've got to post your twitch password don't misbehave or I'll be logging on to your twitch account and subscribing to like a bunch of random people with your credit card <laughs> Is this a joke? Shout me out, please. No. <laughs> Don't ban him. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, worth a shot, I guess, but that's weird. I don't think... I don't think... <laughs> I don't think you're going to have high success rate going into people's chats asking for a shout out. I don't think that's going to get you far. Technically by saying no, you shouted me out. I guess so. Hey, enjoy enjoy the uh hey man, where the hell are we anyway? Enjoy the influx. 
Will is a rat. Thank you for the sub, dude. Do like Forsen does and become one with the snipers. Dude, I... No, I don't want to do that. I, I think I want to go the route where nobody's stream sniping. <laughs> I think let's shoot for that. <laughs> Shout out my boy Glorp. Guys, go give Glorp a follow. Is out of control. No, no, thank you, dude. Thanks for the resub. Have you liked it so far? What would you say, chicken? Have you liked it so far? I know it's pretty overwhelming to begin with. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm excited to play more, but I don't like playing games on stream that have a lot of talking. And that's not that I don't like games like that, but I just don't like streaming stuff like that. So I had to turn the, uh, the dialogue off. And unfortunately, I'm missing like all the story. But I do like the idea of this game, like going out in little like raids with your car and trying to loot up and get back. How can I only see emotes in the widget and not in chat? You got to get um, better Twitch TV, Franker Faces, and I guess, or maybe just exclusively 7 TV. They're browser extensions. I got to get a command for that. Maybe I'll update my website to like have a like a quick little guide to set that up lots of people are struggling with emotes today I think a lot of people just in general I think there's a lot of people who deal with it every day and then a lot of people who don't ever say anything because I don't know it can be kind of daunting I would imagine to talk in chat if you you know don't necessarily want to so I, I definitely want to get a way for people to like know this type of stuff, you know what I mean? It's basic Twitch knowledge. Yeah, but a lot of people are coming from YouTube. I mean like... I've grown a lot on Twitch over the past few years and it's... I mean it's just people coming from YouTube, you know? So I don't expect people to understand. That being said, I want people to, you know... You know... Get, put a little effort into like fit in <laughs> but that that doesn't I mean you don't, you don't know everything from the start and when I say that I mean like a lot of times people come in and just be like annoying you know what I mean and they're making no effort to like fit into the community which is annoying yeah they don't read the room I think your widget is a good subtle way to help people understand that glorp isn't just a funny thing we say yeah it probably is crazy to people coming in and being like what the hell what like why is everybody saying like this one word <laughs> i lurked forever before i actually talked yeah i think i mean there's hey, did you hear the majority something? of people are lurkers uh, the, the people talking in chat are only ever like you know a couple hundred at a time But I don't want to have like, I think I don't want to have a community where it's like people are scared to talk in chat because of getting bullied or something. I think that would suck. But I feel like people are nice. I was so confused when people kept saying bean. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's Bean. It's my second day and I was called lazy. Wait. Who called you lazy? Did I call you lazy? Listen, if I'm ever mean, I'm probably joking or I'm probably going to regret it immediately and apologize. <clears throat> Thank you, Shark Zora. I appreciate it, dude.
I have a question. Were you in JSLAT presentation video? Ye yes, I have made a presentation in JSLAT presentation video. I did a presentation on why smoking is actually good for you. <laughs> the cigarette one? Yeah, I uh, I could show you guys. If someone's got the, the timestamp, my browser's going slow because I've got like 40 windows up. <laughs> Do you do any more of those wild short videos? Which wild short videos? Wait, what the fuck? Adme, are you serious? Wait, I watched your videos back in 2016 when I was in middle school. Now I'm an engineer. Wait, how long ago was 2016? <laughs> are you just, are you lying? <laughs> Wait. See. That was eight years ago. Is that long enough to be an engineer? <laughs> Try work making people engineers? Yeah, dude, I think I probably come. I, I helped with that. Yep. That's my doing. I did most of the hard work. I just started watching your videos and I lost everything. Well, guys, you know, it doesn't always work out for everyone. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, this is the Schlatt presentation that I did, if you didn't see. Here, I'll link it in chat also so you guys can go watch the video in general. I think, dude, we should definitely do some stuff like this. I think this would be so fun. Just like, you know, obviously not just ripping, ripping this idea off, but doing something fun like this. Um, okay. This is the uh, presentation I did. The rules were to like make a presentation on something. I don't remember what exactly, but I... <laughs> Here. Uh, where's my desktop capture? Uh... Over. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video and enjoy. My presentation today is on why I think Jesus smoking Christ. is actually good for you. Dude! Sorry, how my many cat fucking, jumped on my How desk. many cats do you have? <laughs> I have a problem, and that problem is that you... It was cut down a little bit for the video, but... <laughs> the, rest assured, guys, there was a lot more uh, coughing and, and Windows error alerts. <laughs> I need the video without his reaction because it's so funny. Let me see if I can uh, find it. I've got to export it on my... The cough is so sincere, dude. I was... I coughed for like forever trying to crank out those coughs. For the uncut version. Wait, wait. Oh, we've already got a clip of it. Hello, hello everyone. Hey. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's that's the uncut the uncut version.
Great mic quality? Yeah, I use my webcam mic and turn the gain up a lot. Really added to the atmosphere. Are you talking about all the cats meowing? Yeah, that was when we had the scamp, scampets, scampolinis, the tiny little kittens we were fostering for a bit. You had a smoking video with lots of color effects to the Lisa soundtrack. Oh yeah, I, I those are the charmojis. I never ended up uh showing all those off. I need to like go back and find them. Wait, it was real cats? Okay, it don't it it was real cats. However, I picked I pulled <laughs> I pulled all the audio of them meowing. I just recorded them meowing for like five minutes and just cut the meows together to be super chaotic. I want to see, uh, someone had the clip. Will someone post that clip again? Yeah, dude, I was, cause I was, I was gonna record the video and I was like, man, how am I gonna do this while these cats meowing in the bathroom? I tried cutting around them for a minute, like, tried to do the little recording <laughs> and just wait for the meows to stop and I was like, wait, I'm just gonna add the meows in. What about the smoking one in your Zomboid streams? Um, yeah, those are the Charmojis I was talking about a bit ago, or someone mentioned them. I need to go and find <laughs> those. Oh my god, that scared me. Thank you, Bleeding Smoke. Thank you for the resub. Hey, can you watch my son while I go smoke? Here he is. Yeah, sure. Son, I'm over here. Let me know when you're back. God, now now I feel like pressed to, to make sure nothing happens to this little guy. Here's a clip of the one in the Zomboid stream. This is a Charmoji? Wait, let me see. Instead, I created this. Yeah, that's the smoking one. That's the smoking one. I was planning on just recreating every emoji uh, with like a little weird video, which is why I'm like neon yellow. But um, I, n I never ended up doing anything with them. I have a bunch somewhere. 
on my computer that I need to find because I only showed you guys like two of them I think or three of them maybe hey hey man I'm back sometimes I accidentally swallow my cig so I didn't want to be embarrassed in front of my son thanks oh no problem dude here take him back he was behaved he was well behaved Okay, so that was a gentle pass. I didn't throw him. That was a gentle pass off screen back into into their possession. You're gonna add a bunch of glorp emotes? We have a bunch already, I think. God, something something I think would be fun to do is like figuring out a way to like display funny chat messages on stream. Like, I, I think something that'd be super funny is like giving mods the ability to, if they see a good chat message, they can like reply to it with, with like, I don't know. Cause dude, there's so many times where I'll be, I'll like look at my alerts channel and chicken has like posted some funny chat members message or something. And it's just like, something super funny that I didn't even see. So yeah, like having a way for mods to display that in OBS would be so cool. Don't they just reply with at Charbrook a lot of the time? Yeah, but I, I think it'd be funny to go one step further and like let them actually, actually display it on screen. I know uh, Wednesday made this program that lets, like, you can boot it up and let your mods, like, actually display stuff in an OBS, like, browser source. Like, oh, thank you, Plum. Plum brought me chocolate. So maybe trying that. If there was a way to have pin messages display on screen. Oh, that's a good idea. But see, the problem is... The problem is, if we do it in a way, like, because I could easily get the text of the message. I could very easily get something that's like, this was the username, this was the message, and get that in OBS. I could do that so easy. But the problem is the emotes, because it would just show up as, like, Munka S, and I would have to, like, have a database. I would have to access the Better Twitch TV database somehow, which is like, that it gets so complicated immediately. They don't have an API? Yeah, but I'm stupid. <laughs> True. <laughs> Looks like my... Oh, I have a full thing of water here I didn't know about. Couldn't you just crop the pinned messages from Chatterino? Um, Chatterino doesn't display my pins. Maybe maybe there's an option for it though. No, there's no pin thing in Chatterino, but maybe Maybe let me see, I'm gonna pin a message. Maybe there's like a browser link that I can use. Um like look. I'll pin this message. And then maybe I can access this in a browser link. Like if I do um, the pop, there's like a way to pop chat out, which you can't do from mod view, I don't think, for some reason. But I can go to twitch.tv slash, wait, oh wait, yeah, I can do it right here. Wait, what is chat highlights? Okay, no. Let me figure out where the pop out thing is. Oh, here it is. Pop out. Okay, then I can get this. 
link. Okay, now we can do a browser source, not color source. Um, test, test. Okay, so we could do this, and then what the hell is that? No, I don't want this. Interact. Update now. Whoops, I'm. Ugh. Dang it! One second. I completely screwed this up. Well, now that's showing like some weird shit. Okay, anyway, look, I c what I'm trying to say is... This might sting a bit. Okay, well then it goes up... Okay, I don't know, guys. This is a problem. <laughs> this is the type of thing I'm talking about. It's like, there are multiple ways that probably would work. But they're, they're, they all have their drawbacks and are all kind of janky. What was that? Wacky... Wacky Fulf? Thank you, dude. There's more than one way to skin a fish. Yep. And all of them suck. <clears throat> Maybe have a Discord channel for discussions that solve these kinds of things? Oh, you mean like getting you guys to help me problem solve my weird like ideas that I have? That's one thing, dude. I think it would be good to have like brainstorming sessions on stream because there's a lot of like weird little stupid half-baked ideas that I have, but they only ever come to fruition when I like mention it to you guys just randomly and then you just like immediately help me fill the blank in. And I'm like, oh my god, you're right, that would be so funny. Smokey Lloyd is perfect for that? Yeah, dude, that's the type of stuff we should be doing. Ah. Let's do a puzzle. Nah, I'm probably about to end before long. Ask chat GPT. Oh, dude, I have tried so many of my issues that I have. I tried asking chat GPT, but a lot of stuff is like not in their database, like like specific programs that I'm using or whatever. Hi, Pookie. Pookie's here. I made a little, like, Pookie always gets on my desk and, like, just tries to lay on my keyboard or my mouse. And, um, so I made him, I, I pulled a little table up, and I have an old keyboard on it, and then, like, my jacket, and I just put random, like, things on it so that he feels like he's laying, uh, on my stuff. Because <laughs> for whatever reason, he just wants to lay on the thing that I'm, like, working on it's like he's not comfy unless he's bothering me why is pookie censored huh see a lot of people saying pookie he's trying to be included yeah i'm petting the hell out of him Censored, but only sometimes. What? Are you guys screwing with me? <laughs> Are 
Are you guys doing the Hunter 2 password thing? It's not censored in Chatterino, but in Twitch it is. I don't know what to tell you. Who told you my password? All right, guys, <clears throat> I guess I might get on out of here. Thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. I kind of feel like I should delete the VOD. I always feel like that whenever it's like whenever we have streams that end with a long just like kind of slow fade out <laughs> i don't know why i always i always worry people are gonna hate that yeah it was just kind of a chill night People hate deleted VODs more. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. <clears throat> Alright, I'll keep it up. Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow. We can do the, uh, the Halo custom games. It will be fun. Oh, Pookie's trying to come onto my desk. Come on, dude. Chill, little Pookie. Pookie cam. Show you guys Pookie real quick. That's spooky. He hates being picked up, so I'm surprised you let me do that. Plum talked about your swag science glasses today. <laughs> yeah, my glasses. She calls them little scientist glasses. <laughs> look like solid snake with that hair. What does solid snake look like? Oh yeah. Yep. And I'm just as muscular too. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I've got a mullet right now. I um I was going to grow my hair out, but you know, it's a process where you can either just kind of grow it out and have a terrible ugly hairstyle or get it trimmed up. I should probably trim it up cuz I do have a mullet right now. I got a mullet as hell. I don't really mind though. Oh my god. Dr. Squidopolis, thank you for the year. Thank you. That's what you gotta do when growing it out, you gotta trim it. Yeah, or you could have a mullet. Let us cut your hair for stream. Yeah, make like a Jimmy Neutron like hair cutting apparatus. <laughs> no.
No, that would kill me, dude. You would Edward Scissorhands slit my throat open. Yeah. My last, my, as my, as my vision fades out, as I'm bleeding out, the last thing I see is just Omega Lol flying by on my chat client. Poti Vixen, thank you for the sub, dude. Yeah. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Let's raid. I'll raid Buck. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thank you very much for all the subs. And all the bits, and all the gifted sub, I appreciate it. Have a good night. <laughs>